Hello there, my fellow agile and speedy mech warriors, and welcome back to your weekly dose of the Battletech Battlemax lore. For today, after covering quite a few mediums and heavies in the relatively recent past, I thought we would talk for a while about a pretty famous light battle mech. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the Wasp. I am your host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn a few things about it, shall we? Some base details about this little guy include It is a light class mech, it weighs only 20 tons, its top speed for the base model is 95 kph, and its rounded cost is 1,647,000 seabills. This mech was introduced in 2464 as an attempt by General Mechanics to create a fast and maneuverable recon battle mech for the Terran hegemony. The Wasp was revolutionary for being the very first mech capable of jumping, sporting a prototype jump jet system. However, the system was not perfected for most of the next decade. With improvements in production and jump jet technology, the modern WSP-1A Wasp began production in 2471. Centuries later, it is still considered a valued asset for recon work, and it is one of the most numerous mechs in existence. The classic 1A had a ground speed that could be considered lackluster when compared to other modern light mechs, but this was offset by its jump capability. While carrying heavier weapons than mechs of its size like the Locust, the Wasp would generally only engage other light mechs, using its jumping capability to avoid fights with larger foes. The Wasp was also often used in the role of Raider because of its ability to hit and fade in rough terrain. Even after the sheer destruction of the Succession Wars, the Wasp still remains one of the most numerous mechs ahead of the Locust and the Stinger. Many thousands were still in use by all the great houses, and in the periphery too, while at least a hundred more were built every year from factories across known space. Nearly half of all the newly built wasps came from IBMUs and Kaliyama factories located in the Free Worlds League on Shiro 3 and Kalidasa respectively. Among other major inner sphere manufacturers were Defiance Industries' Ferrillo factory within the Lyran Commonwealth and Arcanar Battlemax on New Avalon in the Federated Suns. Many of the great houses had Wasp variants built specifically for them, as did the Wolf's Dragoon's mercenary outfit. Out on the periphery, the Wasp was manufactured on Taurus, Perdition, Canopus IV, and Alpha Rats, making it equally common among the periphery states as well. The reintroduction of Star League Lost Tech was used to upgrade the ancient design with modern improvements, starting first with the WSP-1S built by Defiance for the Federated Commonwealth. This was followed by the new WSP-3W built specifically for Wolf's Dragoons by Arcanar, and then the WSP-3M built by IBMU and Kaliyama. Another wave of updates came when Vicor Industries began to peddle their Project Phoenix program and found a willing buyer in Hellespont Industries. Requiring only minor changes to their production line, these new, more mobile, more stealthy wasps debuted in late July of 3067. Within the Capellan Confederation Armed Forces, these were used with the new Raven and Phoenix Hawk models to form the so-called Shadow Lancers. Taurus Territorial and Detroit Consolidated also began building these new wasps under license from Hellespont, while Defiance designed their new updated version of the wasp, the 3S, which was then licensed to Arcanar. The WSP-1A wasp was never designed as a line unit. It carried the light weapons payload meant primarily for self-defense against other light mechs, and was never meant to be used to engage anything medium or above. This resulted in tactics such as the jump kick in order to deal more damage. The primary weapon is a diverse optics type 2 medium laser carried in the right arm. This is backed up by a Baikal SRM-2 launcher in the left leg, with one ton of standard or inferno rounds in the left torso, making it a useful deterrent against infantry and vehicles. 
Published schematics indicate that the leg-mounted SRM-2 launcher is located near the hip. The six jump jets split between the WASP's left and right leg are responsible for its jumping distance of 180 meters and its own longevity as a recon mech. It also makes up for the relatively slow 66 km an hour cruising speed produced by its 4-ton fusion engine. Ten standard heatsinks are more than enough for the WASP, as it can actually fire both its weapons continuously with little to no issue unless the jump jets have overheated. The three tons of armor protection is average for a light battle mech, and with its placement around the chassis, essentially two shots to the same spot anywhere will punch through and cause damage. Some variants of the WASP include Keep in mind that the pictures used here are not all objectively representative of the variants. The WSP-1 Developed by General Mechanics on Mars in 2464 as the very first generation WASP, this version used several primitive components. The primitive engine reduced the top speed to 85 kph and meant that only a single medium laser was carried. The prototype jump jets could only cover 150 meters in a jump. The primitive armor provided much less protection than the later Succession Wars era wasps, even though it carried three and a half tons of it. The WSP-1D Developed in response to logistical attrition during the later years of the First Succession War, this House Davian variant developed in 2823 exchanges the SRM-2 launcher for two small lasers in the left torso and an Olympian flamer in the left leg. While firing these additional weapons does lead to an increased heat output, it is not enough to pose a serious risk. The WSP-1L this was a variant of the WASP produced by Hellespawn for House Liao in 2799. It replaced the medium laser and SRM-2 launcher with a single Holly SRM-4 launcher in the right arm supplied with a single ton of ammo in the right torso. Envisioning a variant highly adaptable to the raiding actions of the First Succession War, the Capellans deployed the 1L with multiple munition types, based on their intended mission role. The reduction in overall firepower made the 1L an adequate but not a spectacular combatant. The WSP-1S This was the Federated Commonwealth's model of choice starting in 3049. Defiance Industries on Ferrillo upgraded the chassis to endosteel and the armor to 3.5 tons of ferrofibrous. It carries a medium pulse laser in its right arm, two Defiance B3S small lasers in the right torso, and a Zippo flamer in the left torso. The WSP-1W This is the one associated with Wolf's Dragoons and debuted in 3009. The 1W replaces all the weapons with six small lasers, two each split between the right arm, the right torso, and the left torso. While sacrificing long-range power, this gives the 1W superior close-range firepower. The WSP-3A This was developed by the Outworld Alliance in 3082, and it was armed with one medium-pulse laser. While using a smaller engine, its reduced ground speed was offset by improved jump jets, allowing it to jump up to 240 meters at a time. It also included a full head ejection system. The WSP-3L Developed by Vicor Industries from Word of Blake Schematics and manufactured by Hellespont Industrials on CN, the 3L variant uses the Capellan Confederation's new stealth armor and a Hellespont Type W and a steel chassis to make it more stealthy, more mobile, and with increased survivability. Four tons of Hellespont Light Stealth Armor provide superior protection, and along with a Guardian ECM suite, it makes it much harder to locate and hit. The six jump jets were also relocated to the rear torso to better protect them and decrease cost. A Diverse Optics ER Medium Laser is carried in the right arm, and a Deathbloom Rocket Launcher 10 is mounted in the right torso. Despite other improvements, the 3L variant still carries 10 standard heatsinks. 
a cost-cutting measure to take advantage of the Capellan's massive unused stockpile of these very components. For communication, it mounts a Hellespont tight beam system, and it is also equipped with a full head ejection system. It first appeared in 3067, and it was the first model featuring the new Project Phoenix makeover. The WSP-3M The post-Hell Memory Core House Marek variant was introduced in 3051, and it upgrades the chassis to Iran Chassis 2nd Generation Class 20 Endo Steel and the armor to Ferrofibrous. This variant carries an intact medium pulse laser in its right arm and a single Iran Weapon Works SRM-2 launcher in the right torso. It is also equipped with a potent Iran EAR communication system and the Wasat Aggressor targeting tracking system. The WSP-3S this is the Lyran Alliance Project Phoenix rebuild. It was introduced in 3067 and upgrades the structure to an endosteel version, replaces the standard heatsinks with double strength models, and carries two ER medium lasers, a full head ejection system, a Guardian ECM suite, and a TAG target designator. The WSP-3W this was manufactured by Akernar for Wolf's Dragoons in 3050. The Clan Invasion Era 3W upgrades the armor to Ferrofibrous and carries two Sutel Precision Line small pulse lasers in the right arm and four Chiscomp 32 small lasers split between the left leg and the left torso. The increased firepower does come at the cost of reducing armor protection to just two tons. The WSP-7MAF This 3071 variant uses an XL engine and a Hellespont Type W and a steel frame to propel the WASP to 129 kph. It also mounts enough jump jets to match, with a maximum range of 240 meters per jump. It has to use this speed to good effect, as it is only protected by 3 tons of Jolasa 328 armor. The right arm laser was upgraded to a diverse optics ER medium laser, and the design uses 10 double heatsinks for heat protection. Finally, a Doombud MML5 with 2 tons of ammo gives it a decent punch at all ranges. In order to make room for all these upgrades, a small cockpit and XL gyro were also used. Despite the unit designation, the design was manufactured by all three members of the Trinity Alliance, at Hellespont Industries, Taurus Territorial Industries, and Detroit Consolidated Mechworks. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Wasp Light Battle Mech for today. Quite a lot of variants, as you might have noticed. However, this is also not surprising, given that this little guy was, and still is, among the most numerous war machines in the Inner Sphere and beyond. Is the Wasp among your favorite light battle max? What do you like or dislike most about it? Feel free to share any thoughts, opinions or experiences with it in the comments below as usual. Thank you very much for watching to the end and I wish you all an awesome day. This is GDN signing out.